Suggs and I'm an artist in Richmond, Virginia. I make work mostly out of paper, um, but I guess I wouldn't say I make something um, specific because I let the medium drive the outcome. So in other words, I use paper as ground, as tool, and as medium. So a lot of what you're gonna see in this show at Sika is me um, treating paper as surface, but also as the media. So trying to push the boundaries of what paper can do and what paper can look like and how we typically understand or perceive paper to be. So um, I tend to gravitate towards paper because it's such a, um, pliable and awesome material that can um, have an outcome in many different ways and many different forms. So I don't really consider myself to be one type of artist per se as far as like whether I'm a painter, a fiber artist, or a drawer, but um, I sort of incorporate all of those modes of making um, and I consider myself to be a paper artist. I think the official moment when I would say that I decided to become an artist um, was probably in my late 20s, early 30s. I was actually doing an artist residency at Penland, um, which is in the mountains of North Carolina. Um, I was working full time at a design firm and I was using vacation time and my own personal time to go make art. Um, and I think during that magical two weeks that I had, um, I really like woke up one morning and just had this revelation that that is what I wanted to be doing every day um, and where I wanted to be uh, in my life was, you know, at my um, table making art. So I think I really, from that point forward, made, start, made, started making the transitions and the important um, changes that needed to happen so that I could make art making my priority um, and of course it's taken me years and it's going to take me a lifetime to figure out what that means and what that involves but um, I think that key moment of knowing that that's how I wanted to spend my energy and hopefully the rest of my life um, was making art and just figuring out any way to make that happen. Sketching and drawing fit into my practice in a way from start to finish. So something early on as an idea will end up in my sketchbook um, and then that's a way for me to see it and for me to sort of acknowledge it as possibly and eventually becoming a finalized piece or an object. So um, I think it's there from the very beginning and the birth of something, which is really important. It's um, you know, the, the initial spark of something typically comes from drawing it and seeing it out in front of me. But then actually within my practice and with these cutouts, drawing is an integral part. So the backside of those and a lot of what you're gonna see in this show at Sika are me showing that drawing process and how crucial and integral it is to the final outcome and the final product. And a lot of times I spend more time on the back side of my work. So that drawing that's on the back, that's what I look at the entire creation process. And I don't typically look at the front until it's totally done and I hang it on the wall and see it as a finished piece. Um, so I would say that drawing is my practice pretty much. I mean, of course there are these other other parts that come along but I guess it's the skeleton and the framework and the structure that creates my work. I tend to sketch and draw because it provides me with um, a sense of seeing something before I may actually spend all the labor um, that is involved in some of the paper cuts. Um, so being able to draw allows me to see something before, with my eyes before I spend all the time making something. Um, but I also feel like when I'm actually doing the paper cuts, spending the time up close with a sheet of paper, um, 
even if it is an X-Acto knife and not necessarily a pencil, you know, I'm spending a lot of time doing the same act as um, drawing a line or paying very close attention to the surface of the paper and what um, is happening. So I view even if I'm using an X-Acto knife, that that's also an act of mark making. Um, even though the result or the end result is different, uh, that I'm extracting the paper rather than adding to it.